I heard it said that marriage is not a word, it's a story. And it's going to be continue to be written every day of your life. So beginning today, your story continues to grow and be intertwined together for the rest of your lives. Hello everyone, I am Jess's sister Madison, who is also her Irish twin. I watched these two fall in love from the very beginning of the pandemic through pictures of them in the tractor for most of it. Hey guys. Hey baby. How are you? Good. Alex would be driving the tractor. Jess would typically have her laptop in her lap, getting paperwork done, teaching, or working on homework for her master's classes. Well, she also would torment Alex and touch the steering wheel and disengage the auto steer on the tractor. I generally have a rule. I usually don't talk in front of uh, more than three people and clearly there's more than three people here. Okay. But I'd like to welcome Alex to the family. Couldn't ask for a better kid, to better guy to, to meet Jess. So we're, thank you so much for joining our family. To make the celebration happen today, it took a lot of bit of planning and preparation and hoping the clouds would part. Um, but once Alex picked out like his color palette, it was all downhill, I'm sure. But the most important thing was how you prepared yourselves how you grew to become the people that you are. Not in how you look, although Jess, you look beautiful and Alex cleans up after all, uh, but what really matters is how you've prepared your hearts for one another and your character for the days moving forward. I wanted to start out by thanking you all for coming today and celebrating this special time for the Walsoms. I also want to make sure Alex has a fresh battery so I don't have to start over. <laughs> I asked her to come out and uh, I was going to go up on the roof and, and do some, I was working on the house and, and uh, I said, you know, come out and just watch in case you hear a, uh, a thunk. I said, that's probably me on the ground, call 911 because it was just her and I that were home. And uh, she proceeded to boat, grab two phones. One was a cell phone and one was a uh, cordless phone and went around on the outside of the house and watched with glee to make sure that I wasn't, you know, just waiting for that to happen uh, where she could call 911. I wrote this before having the food tonight, so I hope you all enjoyed it, which it was pretty good. But that brings me to Alex's nickname, Muncher. The kid sure likes to eat. I used to live with him for two years and he sure liked to steal my food and munch on it. Just remember Jess, if he eats your food, it's not stealing anymore. <laughs> munch is one hell of a carpenter and I know you two will build one heck of a immaculate future together. And Jess, you being a teacher, hopefully you can teach him to slow it down a little. We had fun together, going camping, tubing, jumping into the lake with our life jacket diapers. Yeah! <laughs> and singing along to Shania Twain's CD Up while folding laundry, slinging socks and underwear off of the ceiling fan in mom and dad's bedroom. Many nights we've cried, laughed, almost jumped out of your truck as you drove, um, cried some more, and just stare, shared lots of stories together. As I was thinking of stories to share about Alex, a few things come to mind. How about that time we went to Farm Fest because you know, it was free. <laughs> free. And we'd walk around and shag as many hats as we could. Our bags are always full of free stuff. And when we left, um, we were full from free beef commercials, obviously too. And man, I learned a lot from ice fishing with you and Tom and all about life, farming, and women. She has always been my spokesperson. No, I was super shy when I was younger. 
And I could never tell the cashier, like at McDonald's, what I wanted to eat. I would hide behind Jess, whisper in her ear, telling her what I wanted to eat. You met Alex and you were so excited and so happy. Um, and I could just tell that you were gonna be happy and you're gonna be happy for a long, long time. So congratulations. Hi, Yala. Take you, Jeff. Hi, Jess. Take you, Alex. To be my wife. To be my husband. These things I promise you. I'll be faithful to you, be honest with you. I will respect you, trust you. Help and care. I will dare my life with you. I will forgive you as we have been forgiven. I'm sorry with you. Better understand ourselves, the world, and God. Do the bath, the word of what is to come until death parts us. In 1 Corinthians 13, 8, it says, Love never fails. It's not saying that you guys won't fail or that you won't come up short as a husband and as a wife. But what it means is keep love at the foundation of what you say and what you do, and then your marriage will never be powerless. It will never be without effect. You know, Alex, you were always my best third wheel before you met Jess as well. Um, but things got even better when you did meet her and she started coming around. It was evident you two were meant for each other from the start. Alex is the hardest working and helpful friend watching him grow into a serious relationship with you. I could see he was happy. That fear of meeting someone who loves him for all that he is, is over. With the dream, you are mine. I am yours. Well, it's my honor to present uh, for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Alex Olsom. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.